putting a virus to work, killing cancer cells. That's right now in motion. Breast cancer is the number one cause of cancer death in women in the world. In the United States, one in eight women will come down with breast cancer in their lifetime. Right now, at least on the first diagnosis, it's usually very treatable. The real problem comes in on the women who, uh, after so many years, the cancer comes back. And about 30% of women who are treated from the first diagnosis actually have a relapse. The cancer is resistant to most of the drug treatments and it begins to metastasize and go to other sites. Craig Myers, a professor of microbiology and immunology in the Penn State College of Medicine, along with other university researchers, have actually found a way to put a virus to good work fighting breast cancer. Well, the virus's name is adeno-associated virus type 2, or simply put, AV2. It's a common natural virus that you find out in the population. Most people in their lifetime are probably infected by it, but it never causes a disease or any effects in, in people. AV2 and cervical cancer seem to have a inverse relationship. What I mean by that is cervical cancer is caused by a virus called the human papillomavirus. Most people are familiar with it because there's a vaccine now. But what was said in these reports was women who had cervical cancer did not have AAV2, and women who had AAV2 did not have cervical cancer. So we started doing studies on that, and one day we decided just to infect the cervical cancer cells and let them sit for a while in the incubator, and after seven days, all the cells had died. But we repeated it, and repeated it, and repeated it multiple times, and after a while we had to be convinced that it wasn't the incubators, it wasn't anything anything that was going wrong, it was that the AV2 was killing these cells. With this initial success, Myers and his team are eager to move forward. With one in eight women contracting breast cancer, they felt that their resources would be best utilized by focusing their research here. Our next step is we, we've been given uh, some money from the Pennsylvania Breast Cancer Coalition. It's the biggest uh, grant they've ever given out. It's great because we won't be stalled. We've had to stop doing work off and on. I would like to just move forward, keep moving. For In Motion, I'm Kurt Parker.